Ron, we are talking about hydration during exercise training. We have more than 50% uh, of water in our body. What is the significant water loss during exercise? That's a very difficult question to answer. It sounds like it should be very simple, but the water loss that people incur will depend on two things, how much they sweat and how much they drink will determine the net balance. Some people sweat a lot and some people don't. And of course it also depends on how hard you're working and how hot it is. Also when it comes to replacement, some people, some people drink a lot, some people d never drink when they're exercising. Can you give a recommendation? So we are exercising, endurance exercise, cycling, running, in an environment with 15 degrees Celsius. After one hour, should I drink? Many people would say no. If the temperature's cool and you're not sweating very much, then you probably don't need to drink anything at all. On the other hand, when you look at the studies that have considered the differences between drinking and not drinking, and they looked at how hard the exercise feels, the exercise feels harder if you're not drinking. And for many people, that's the most important thing. If the exercise feels harder and you don't particularly enjoy it anyway, you're much less likely to do it again. And you're likely to stop after 30 minutes rather than do doing 45 minutes. So I would suggest that yes, there are some benefits in taking drinks, even when you're not exercising to exhaustion, even when it's not very hot. Let's turn the question around. Can I drink too much? Yes, some people do drink more than they need. And each person has to recognize what's appropriate for them in the situation in which they're exercising. If you're doing fairly short exercise and the weather's not too hot, a few mouthfuls of fluid is perfectly adequate. If you're going for longer and the weather is very hot, then you probably need a bit more. And there are two schools of thought. One school of thought says you just drink if you're thirsty and once you stop being thirsty you don't drink. The other school says you should never drink so much that you gain weight during the exercise period. Now the first one allows your physiology to be your guide. The second one gives you a little bit more confidence. It allows you to make some measurements. You have to weigh yourself before and after the session. But if you gained weight, you drank too much. Okay, thank you very much.